Fonts are one of the most powerful tools we have as designers. They shape the personality of a project, set the look and feel, and influence the mood. But here's something that some designers can overlook until it's too late. Font management. Over time, we end up collecting hundreds, even thousands of fonts. They pile up, and before you know it, you have all these fonts all over your computer, files start missing fonts, and good luck trying to remember which sans serif font you used two years ago. Sure, you could rely on the default font library app, but that gets messy fast. That's why proper font management is so crucial. It keeps your computer lean, your project stable, and actually speeds up your workflow. In this video, I'm going to show you how I organize my fonts and one of the best tools I have found for previewing fonts. It's called Fontbase, and it's completely changed how I handle type in my projects. So let's get into it. So one of the mantras I always share with other designers is that the more organized you are, the more creative you can be. One thing that I always find frustrating during the creative process is having to stop my creative flow to search for typefaces. In most cases, I'll have an idea of the style of characteristics of the font I want to use, but I won't know what font I want to use exactly off the top of my head. So a process of exploration and discovery is required, which could be quite laborious and time consuming. Having to stop your flow of creativity to find a font can be frustrating. That's where being organized with your fonts can help and using font management tools like Fontbase can significantly help speed up your workflow and make the process faster and smoother. So for those of you who don't know, Fontbase is a free, super fast, multi-platform font manager, which is Mac, Windows, and Linux compatible. It focuses on a minimalist but functional interface with maximum ease of use, perfect for independent designers. It's a powerful app that lets you explore your whole font library visually and very quickly to help you discover a font that you'd like to use in your work. With Fontbase, there are so many unique features which enable you to organize, explore, and display fonts. So when it comes to organizing fonts on my computer, I like to keep them all in one folder, a font library, and have them neatly organized in categories. Here you can see I have categories from black letter all the way through to Western. In each category, I have free fonts, Google fonts and paid fonts I have acquired previously. And in each one of these folders, I also have each font in its own folder. I find keeping your fonts in individual folders rather than dumping them all into one big folder is just smarter. It keeps everything organized, especially when font families include multiple styles like regular, bold and italics. Overall, it helps with syncing, backups and keeping your workflow tidy so your system runs smoother and your creative process is streamlined. Another benefit to this is that font managers like Fontbase will recognize folder structures, which makes it easier to activate, preview, and manage specific collections. With my font library organized, what I like to do then is mirror this file structure in my font management app, where I can easily explore them visually. Now, it's also important to mention that I keep this font library structure on a cloud-based folder. Currently, I'm using Dropbox, but you can easily do this on Google Drive. More on that in a minute. So in Fontbase, there are a few ways to manage your fonts, but one of the most efficient is by using watched folders. When you first bring fonts into Fontbase, it's important to be mindful of how you do this. If you drag individual fonts or folders directly into the app window, by default, Fontbase will copy these fonts into an internal root folder which is stored in your user home directory. Now this can lead to unnecessary duplications, especially if you already have your fonts organized on your computer as I just demonstrated. Watched folders work differently. These are real folders located on your computer, like in your documents, Dropbox or external drive that Fontbase simply monitors. The best way to manage your fonts in Fontbase is to first manage your font folders on your computer, like I just demonstrated, in my font library and then set up watch folders within Fontbase. That way your fonts stay exactly where you want them and Fontbase keeps everything in sync without creating duplicates. And to do this is really easy. With Fontbase open, click the plus add button in the bottom left corner. In the drop down menu, choose watched folder. A folder picker dialog will appear. 
Here you can navigate to a folder on your computer. In this instance, I'll navigate to my font library folder I just demonstrated, containing all my fonts. Here I'll select a folder. In this example, I'll go with Serif. After selecting, I will now see the Serif folder present in my folder section with an eye shape icon to the left, indicating that this is a watched folder. Inside the folder, we can see the subfolders representing my organized structure on my computer. And if I click to expand the folders, we can see all the fonts contained in a list. So anytime I add or remove fonts from this folder using my file explorer, Fontbase updates the list to match. So if I was to continue to build my font library of serif fonts on my computer, Fontbase would simply update the list without me needing to do this manually. Easy. And it gets even better. If I come back and click the plus icon to add another watched folder, I can select every other folder on my computer, click to select, and I will now have my entire font library inside Fontbase to explore. Pretty powerful stuff, right? So fast. With watched folders imported, I can now click to drop down the folders to explore all the fonts contained here in the list. Nice. So when you start to get fonts into Fontbase, this is where the magic happens. By clicking on a folder on the left, you can scroll through all the fonts visually on the right. Here you have the option to increase the size of the preview, change the color, change the alignment. You can click on the drop down at the bottom and choose the text you'd like to preview or type in your own custom text, which is awesome if you're looking to explore certain characteristics of a typeface for a specific word or phrase. If there is a font in particular you would like to see in more depth, you can double click where you can see more fonts if it's part of a font family. You can click on the waterfall tab to see how the font looks in large and smaller paragraphs of text. Here you can click on the top tab to scroll through the family and you can click on the glyphs tab to explore further. Now you can also scroll down the list on the left to click on specific fonts. Click on the font and it'll take you directly to it. So you can either click on the master folder, scroll and explore or expand the folder on the left and click directly on the font in the list. Easy. Now, once you have Fontbase up and running, another thing to note is that there is a section called Providers. Here you will see that Fontbase comes complete with the whole suite of Google Fonts. So right off the bat, you have the entire collection of Google Fonts to explore. Simply click on Google, and on the right, you'll be able to scroll through the entire collection of Google Fonts right here in Fontbase. Nice. So to activate a font is simple. If you wish to activate any font at any time, in the list on the left or over on the right, by the font name, simply click the icon to the left of the name. This will turn green and now the font is active and ready to be used in any project. Also, note that the font folder will turn green with a stroke, indicating that there is a font in the folder that is active. So you can either go through the folders and activate individual fonts or click the icon shape on the master folder to activate them all. Now, another feature to keep in mind when using Fontbase is auto activate. If I come to a different folder, and this time right-click on the master folder, I can choose Auto Activate. When I do that, the folder icon will turn blue. In Fontbase, green means a font or folder is currently active, but only for this session. If you restart your computer or quit Fontbase, those green activations might not persist. But when a folder is set to Auto Activate, turning blue, Fontbase will automatically activate those fonts every time the app is launched. So if you're working on a long-term project or have a folder of essential brand fonts, setting it to auto-activate ensures these fonts are always ready to go without having to reactivate them manually each time. Another good use for this is to set up a watched folder for your default downloads folder. So when you download a font, Fontbase will detect it and activate it at once. Now one small but cool feature is font pairing. As you scroll through your fonts, you can click the button on the far right to pin that to the top of your preview. So you can quickly compare it to other fonts and select the one that best suits your project. Nice. And with Font Playground, it gets even better. On the far left, if you hit the preview tab, this can enable you to preview two fonts together at the same time. On the organization tab, find a font you want to preview, right click and use as preview font A, find another, right click and use as preview font B, then back into the preview tab, you can change the settings and preview two fonts together. Great for pairing fonts or comparing two very similar fonts. Now, another nice feature is favorites. 
When you start to bring in fonts and explore them, you're going to find examples you like. If you find a font you like, simply click and drag it into favorites or hover over the far right of the font and click the heart icon. This is great during a discovery session where if you find a font that you think you'd like later on, add it to favorites where you can come back to it later. Easy. Now, another way to keep track of your fonts is to create collections. A collection is a virtual group inside FontBase only. Think of it like a playlist in Spotify. It doesn't duplicate files, it just references them in a new way. You can create collections based on projects, clients, or even font styles. Collections let you group fonts from multiple folders or locations on your computer, all in one place inside FontBase, without actually moving or copying the font files themselves. So the folders below can be a dump of all your fonts, and collections can be a more focused curation of your fonts. And creating a collection is really easy. Click the Add button at the bottom to create a collection, give it a name, find a font from your folders below, and over on the right, you can click and drag into your collections folder. When you add fonts to your collections, click on the folder and you will see the fonts displayed on the right, where you can click and preview your font in more detail. It's also worth mentioning that when you create a collections folder, you can also create sub-collections. Simply right-click, create sub-collection, and here you can organize your fonts even further. Now, FontBase does not provide a cloud sync solution directly, but you can easily do that using any cloud drive like Dropbox or Google Drive. As I mentioned earlier, I keep all my fonts in a font library located on a Dropbox folder, which syncs across multiple computers. In FontBase, if you create a watched folder from a cloud synced folder on one computer, right click and select auto activate. This folder will now turn blue. With FontBase open on another computer, if I create a watched folder for the same font folder, again, right click and select auto activate in FontBase. Because FontBase is now watching the font library folder on Dropbox and both computers, if I add a new font to the font library folder on one computer, FontBase will update on another when the folder is synced. And because both folders are set to auto-activate on both computers, any new fonts will become activated and available to use on both computers. Nice. Now, another cool feature is the ability to package fonts. If you're working on a project and you need to share your fonts with other designers, you can simply right-click on one of your collections and package them up into a zip file to send and share. Very convenient. So let me show you how I use FontBase in a real-world workflow. So if I'm working on a design and I create an initial composition, I'll typically outline my text first so I know where my text elements are going to go. But now I need to find the right font and get the right look and feel that I'm after. Unless I know what font I'm going to use, I'm going to have to go out and find one. So for this composition, I'm looking for a bold font with personality, perhaps a serif font. So what I can do is come into FontBase, click on my serif folder, which I set up earlier. I can scroll through all of the serif fonts that I have. Here I can even copy my text from my composition. Paste it at the bottom so I can see the exact qualities of the fonts at a glance. When I find a font I think is working, I can pin it to the top, which I can use as a shortlist. I can scroll through my serif fonts to see if there's anything else that may be on par or maybe have other qualities that I might want to consider. Here I could even look for some other display fonts in another folder. Now to make this really easy, I can create a collections folder. And as I start to find fonts that I like, I can click and drag them in. After a while, I'll have a collections folder here with a short list of fonts that I'd like to preview. Now I can either click on the individual fonts to activate them, or I could just click to activate the whole collection folder. Then back into my document, if I select my text, up in my font selector, the font will be available from the list which I can choose. And again, if I want to preview any other font, I can duplicate the composition, change the fonts in both, so I can get a good look at which one I prefer. I can continue to change the fonts and compare until I decide on the font that I want to use. So within a few minutes, I was able to jump out of my project, search for some fonts, and find one which I was really happy with. And now I have a short list of fonts in my font app, which I could also refer to later. So all that time spent searching for fonts is not wasted because now I can come back to this collections folder at any time in future to reference those fonts. Pretty cool, right? This is a technique I use for all my projects to help shortlist and discover fonts that I would like to use. Overall, this helps me stay organized and know that in future, however much time passes, 
Whatever additional design I create for this project or work I create for new projects, I can simply come back to Fontbase for reference. Easy. So one of the most awesome things about Fontbase is that it's completely free to use. Right now, you can download Fontbase and use all those features for free to manage and explore your fonts, which you can download right now. And all the free features can be used for free forever. However, if you wish to support the app, there are some added features which you can get with a modest subscription. Now, unlike some other font management tools, which can have expensive annual costs, Fontbase offers a very modest monthly fee, a small annual fee currently, and a reasonable one-off fee for the entire lifetime of the app. And if you get the subscription, you'll get access to added features such as Super Search. This feature analyzes your entire font library to determine its core characteristics, such as contrast, weight, proportion, and X height. Earlier in this video, I demonstrated the process that I use to discover fonts. Now, as fast as that was, I had to explore an entire library of a particular category. Super Search is so much more powerful. Instead of having to search an entire category of fonts to find an example that I think works, using Super Search, you can search by specific qualities, which can help you narrow down and pinpoint the exact font that you might want to use a lot faster. Amazing if you know the qualities you're after to locate appropriate fonts fast. Another nice feature is auto activation. If you get a design file from a client or another designer and it has some text in it and the font files were provided to you, you can just add the fonts into a watched folder. And when you open the design file, the fonts will be automatically activated. So you don't need to install them or go into font base and manually activate them. And after you close that design file, the fonts are automatically deactivated. Another nice feature is crowd tags, where subscribers can add tags to fonts. If a certain font gathers a certain amount of the same tags from different users, Fontbase will promote the tags and save them to their database. The next time a font with the same name is added by any user to Fontbase, they display the saved tags on the font automatically. Other features include font glyphs, where you can see extended glyphs for fonts. Clicking any glyph will copy it to the clipboard so you can paste it into any design app. And with the subscription, you can toggle between dark, light, and classic color schemes. So font management is one of those behind the scenes skills that separates hobbyists from professionals. It keeps your project stable, your computer fast, and your creative process streamlined. And Fontbase is honestly one of the best tools I've found to do just that. And I use it in my workflow every day. It's clean, it's fast, it's cross-platform, and there's a really solid free version if you want to test it out. Be sure to check the description for a link if you want to explore it for yourself. And remember, being organized doesn't limit your creativity, it unlocks it. An organized workspace means a free mind, and that's where the best ideas come from.